My father revolutionized Argentine winemaking by planting where no one else dared to plant. During the last 50 years, I have been working hard to improve the quality of our wines. When I am pouring a bottle of Catena, I'm representing Argentina. My family has been making wine in Argentina for over 100 years. My father, Nicolás Catena Zapata, has been called Argentina's high-altitude Malbec pioneer, not only for the work he did at our family winery, Catena Zapata, but also for the work he did in elevating the region. In the 1980s, my father had this vision to make wines in Argentina that could stand with the best of the world. He went to California as a visiting scholar at UC Berkeley, and when he was there, he saw that there was uh, an extraordinary revolution going on in the Napa Valley. The Californians had decided to make better wines than the best French wines. That passion for quality was my inspiration, to do the same in Argentina. It took a decade to do all the research in order to make these great wines. We had to prove the quality in the bottle. When my father started this revolution in Argentina, he had to change everything about how wine was made in Mendoza. At that time, the focus was, let's make volume. So if you want to make a lot of table wine, you don't plant Malbec, you don't plant Cabernet Sauvignon. And that's exactly what my father did. That was the opposite of what everybody else was doing. Most of the vineyards were planted in the lower altitudes. And my father realized that it was too warm there and there wasn't enough sunlight intensity. And that's why he started planting higher and higher into the high altitude of the Andes. Nobody had their to plant at high altitudes, thinking that grapes will not ripen and afraid of the danger of early or late frost. But we did it. We found with the research we did in the 80s and the 90s that sunlight intensity played an, a very important role in Malbec. The Malbec at higher altitude develops thicker skins. This is because it's protecting itself from the sunlight. And these thicker skins have more tannins, have more flavors. Basically everything you need to make an extraordinarily concentrated, age-worthy wine. The Zapata vines are a selection within our vineyards where we go through the best rows and we select the plants with the most potential of richness and concentration. And we actually mark them with a, a red sash. And then we harvest them separately and vinify them separately. And the assemblage of these vines are what give us the Catena Zapata wines. Today, our best grapes come from Adriana Vineyards at almost 5,000 feet. Its location, defined by its altitude and latitude, is unique. Going north or south, this microclimate produces a different quality. This is the pinnacle of high altitude viticulture. The Adiana vineyard has rocky and calcareous soils. It has the Catena plant selection planted. They have smaller berries, smaller bunches, which means more concentration, more skin to juice contact. The Adiana Malbec is the most age worthy of our Malbecs. It's floral, rich, intense, grainy, very mineral Malbec that ages beautifully. Nicasia Vineyard Malbec has a dark, almost black color and very, very smooth velvety tannins. It's almost like a contradiction in wine. Malbec Argentino tells the hundred-year-old story of four generations of our family making Malbec in high-altitude Mendoza, Argentina. The Nicolás Catina Zapata is collected by wine lovers around the world. It's Cabernet on the nose and Malbec on the palate. I named it after my father because the blend of these two varieties is his favorite. We conducted blind tastings throughout the United States, several countries in Europe, and we came in first in every tasting but one. This was an important moment for our family. 
and truly also for Argentina. Nicolás Catena Zapata is really a wine to be aged for a few years. I love this wine. It has black fruit aromatics, a little earthiness, grainy tannins, beautiful length. It's a wine that you can drink with a nice piece of steak. It's really unforgettable. One of the most rewarding things that I have ever done is work with my father. Every vintage brings a different climate, a different set of decisions. But in the end, we have the same goal in mind. My father was a real pioneer, and it took somebody like my father to bring Malbec back into fame. And this time, from Argentina.